NPM scripts are a convenient way to bundle common shell commands for your project. They are typically commands or a string of commands, which would normally be entered at the command line in order to do something with your application. NPM scripts help you run repetitive tasks without needing a separate task runner program installed like Grunt or Gulp. In this tutorial, we'll learn what NPM scripts are, how to run scripts using the NPM command line application, and understand how scripts help us automate tasks within projects. NPM scripts are terminal commands that run in your local shell. These are typically commonly used commands that accomplish tasks related to developing or deploying your application. NPM scripts are recorded in your project's package.json under the scripts field. Creating an NPM script makes the commands available to anyone who runs your project. They are a useful way to share these commands with other developers and track them in version control. You execute an NPM script by running npm run and passing the name of the script to run. NPM scripts can also hook into special lifecycle hooks which NPM makes available, such as post install, publish, pre-publish, version, and many others. This lets you hook into events happening in your project and kick off tasks based on the events. We've linked to more information about these lifecycle events in the written component of this tutorial. Scripts are helpful in automating common tasks that we use in our project, like starting an application, running tests, linting code, and all kinds of other things. Scripts are registered in the scripts field of your package.json as key value pairs, where the key is the name of the script and the value is the terminal commands which make up the script. Shown here is an example script field from a package.json file with a single script called start. The start script is the most common NPM script and provides a memorable way to start your application. The example start script you see here will run the index.js file to start the application. These are the same commands that you would use to run a file with Node.js. There's nothing special going on here besides registering the commands as a start script. The start script itself, though, is a special script in NPM, which can be executed just by running the command npm start in your project directory. Most other scripts need to be run with npm run and then the name of the script. Using scripts in your project can be very useful for a number of reasons. One of the benefits of using scripts is that commands associated with your application can be committed to version control. This not only keeps them written down somewhere so you won't forget them, but makes it easy for anyone else working with the project to use the exact same commands that you use without them needing to be aware of the commands directly. Scripts also make it much easier to run dependencies which are locally installed in your project because you don't have to pass the full path when running packages from scripts. We'll talk about that more in depth in a moment. There are often various tasks which need to run at different stages of our project's life, like running a development server, starting test suites, and bundling code before deploying it to a production server. NPM scripts help us automate all these various tasks so we can make sure that they get done at the right times. Creating scripts for these tasks helps you run them whenever you need. Scripts are also fully customizable. Anything that you can run from the command line can be turned into an NPM script for your project. You can create whatever scripts you want and have them rely on the full power of the command line to help accomplish tasks. Finally, scripts can work together. Scripts can run other scripts in your project so that you just need to run one script to kick off a complex build process or any other multi-step task which you wish to accomplish. We just said scripts can call other scripts, which makes them composable and allows for separation of concerns between your scripts. Using multiple scripts together can help you accomplish complex tasks just by running a single command. You can use npm run to start a script from within any other script. Take a look at this example set of scripts for a project. Executing npm run dev will do the following. Set the node env variable to development Next, run the lint script, which if successful, will run the start script. The lint script uses eslint to check your code for errors. And then finally, if the linting was successful, the start script will start the project. Now anyone can start your development environment just by running the dev script. One awesome feature of npm scripts is that they can resolve packages installed in your project as if they were globally installed, meaning you don't need to use the full path to a package installed in your project to run it from a script. If you wanted to run a locally installed version of eslint from the command line, you need to use the full path to the package in your node modules directory. From an npm script, you just need to use the name of the package like you would if it was globally installed. Scripts will look in your node modules directory for a locally installed version of a package first, and if it's not found, then it will look in your globally installed packages and use the one there if it's available. Often, packages used from the command line are globally installed, but when using scripts, it's a good idea to install them as a dev dependency instead. So the package is distributed with the project, and everyone who runs the script uses the same version of the dependency. To recap, in this tutorial we learned what npm scripts are, how to run scripts with npm using npm run and the script name, and how scripts help us automate tasks in our projects. 